In this video, we're going to show you how to set the limits on your engine instruments, how to check the data sampling rate, and show you how to import the data. So, the EFIS is up and running, we're on the ground, you never want to do this in flight. So the first thing you want to do to get to calibration is hit set, and then hold the calibration button. This brings you up into the main calibration menu. So let's go ahead and adjust our oil temperature. So I'm using the joystick to scroll over to oil temperature. I select. Here we have the max top of gauge, red high, yellow high, yellow low, and red low. So let's say we want a red audio warning at 230 rather than 245. I move the cursor to there. I hit select. You can type in 230, enter and press save. And that's all there is to it. Now that'll change where the red band starts on the top of the gauge. Now let's also, as long as we're here, check the data interval. Notice the first item is admin settings. I'm gonna go ahead and select on admin settings. Data logging interval. Notice it's set at one second. Our latest software actually defaults to one second and doesn't let you change it. So we verified it's one second. We're all good. We're going to hit back. So I want to go ahead and get the flight data out of the last flight I made. So the first thing we want to do is hit set. Notice when we hit set, all the button labels here turn to orange. Then I want to hit logs right there, logs. Our choice is now our last flight today, the last five hours, 10 hours, 20 hours, or all. I'm gonna go ahead and just get the last flight. So I'm gonna push last flight. Notice it tells you on the screen that it's writing to it right here. That's the file name, it's, in, it's putting it on the USB stick. That could be in the back in the heat sink or most people airplanes actually have it in an extension cord mounted on the panel. Notice it's done now. So now we're gonna reach over, we're gonna pull the USB stick and we're going to take it into our PC. 